parents all across the Southland are scrambling to figure out how they are going to keep their kids busy this summer. With summer camp shut down and parents working from home, it'll be a real issue for lots of families. Parenting expert and author Erin Heidelberger joins us live via Zoom with some ideas for the whole family to be happy this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Great to see you guys. You as and well. Yeah, summer is here. Hey, thanks. It all is. right, so I have to say, like, let don't wait to start strategizing. You know, it is go time. Don't put your head in the sand, even though, you know, a few of your beaches are starting to open because summer is here in a few short weeks, but a vaccine for COVID is definitely not. So it's time to get it together and find out whether your camp is going to be open or closed. And parents, you need to make the best decision for your families. Don't hesitate. Okay, now a lot depends on how old children are. Can you give us some ideas for what we should do with elementary school kids, preteens and teenagers? Absolutely. So start, let's, let's start with the little guys. So what's so wonderful that's happening right now is there are so many virtual camp offerings and they start as young as two. They're offering such things as scavenger hunts or weekly arts and crafts deliveries. And these are really great options for children who are more structured and especially for the parents who are working and need to give their children something to do and keep them busy so parents can focus on work. And then for our tweens and teens, this is like one of my favorite ideas. Talk with your neighbors and your like-minded mom friends and see who's interested, who has tweens and teens who are interested in making a little, you know, spare cash this summer. And maybe they can set up just like a casual summer camp right outside of your front door. They, you know, the tweens and teens are engaged. And let me tell you, like little children look up so much to older children. And this way, the entire neighborhood is busy and has structure and keeps, like, gives we parents a little bit of a break. That's right, it takes a village. Now, how should families work together to come up with these solutions? Because so many parents are scared, they're social distancing and not wanting to break any rules. Well, here's, here's what I say always, no, no matter whether you are a family that is married or separated, or divorce. It is so, so important to have united front, especially now because when we're parenting, right now we're parenting in a very like unsure, uneasy time. When parents create united fronts, it really makes our children feel safe and secure. So it doesn't matter what you decide to do. We have to get rid of judgments about everyone else. We have to focus on what's going to benefit our family in our four walls. So have that family meeting. We have a long holiday weekend coming up. We have nothing but time. So have a family meeting, take five to 10 minutes, sit on the couch and say, hey guys, how are you feeling? What are you comfortable with? What do you want to do this summer? And what's really great about this is when children get involved, they have more, they feel like more involved and they will make more, they'll take more initiative and have a great summer too. And so there's less power struggles between parents and kids. And Erin, before we go, tell us about your new book. Oh my gosh, my new book. It's all about getting it together. Very simple steps and putting the me and mommy, because let's be honest, if you parent more efficiently and effectively, you have more happy mommy time. Perfect. Thank you so much. So many great ideas. Really appreciate Irene Heidelberger. Thank you so much for joining us.